All right, we're gonna hook these pallet forks up. He's gonna come over here. We're gonna take one of those bins, or two of those bins, and we're gonna stack them in these crates. Oh, he's got one over here. Oh, so we gotta get one of these inside too. He's gonna stack it in one of these crates to see how much wood is actually in one of those bins over there. All right, we're gonna hook these things up. Now you can just dump it in there. Check out these pallet forks. And that's how you empty a bin. One and then the other one? Yeah, let's start with one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, then see how that where that gets us. Sure. Make Cody do all the work. All right. Stacking, Cody. Stacking time. Oh, you set those up perfectly at 16 inches, huh? Yep. That dumps nice and easy. Yeah, that's how you dump a bin. It looks like a lot when you dump it out. Yeah, it did. That's why I was like, well, maybe we should just do one because yeah, I think so. two look like a lot. But I guess after we get it all stacked, I don't think it's going to be no that it much. Disappears quick. The reason we're doing it inside is because it's too cold outside to do we it. We can see how good the disc screener does. Oh yeah, see how much junk is on the ground. Yeah. There's a little bit of small stuff that came through. Yeah. Size of the wood wise, it's actually pretty good too. Yeah, it's pretty even. I mean, look at all the, there's not, they're not huge pieces. What wedge did he have on this when he was splitting it? I wonder. I'm not sure. I don't know if this was done with that pullback one. I don't, I don't know. Oh, we're definitely going to use that other one. It's disappearing fast. What did we say about big chunks? Holy cow. How'd that make it in <laughs> that's there? That's the size of, that's a whole piece of wood there. Quality control. Yep. We have too much we're gonna have to bring another one in here i know because i might have a smidge too much it's gonna be too much yep it should be too much well 
way we got it figured, it should be. It should be. Uh, like, it should be one and a quarter face cord, right? Roughly, yeah, something like that. I think one and uh, just over one. Yeah. Not too much debris down here on the ground. Okay, next one. Next one, dump it in here. And... If you're wondering how to dump those bins, this is how you do it. Just gotta have the right pallet forks. Nothing like dumping it on top of the pile. We don't want to walk anywhere. Got a little close. <laughs> Definitely gonna fill this up. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna be right on the money, one point. Just over, one and a half, or one and a quarter face cord. So I don't know what that would actually be. These are exactly four feet then? I think so, we can check it. All right, we're gonna grab another one. And we're gonna see how much is in there. Oh, is that more on your end there? Some scraps. Small chunks on there. Some fire starter. Okay, got some fire starter. Same well, we thing. already know we're eight. Yeah, same thing, right? Yeah, should be. Should all be the same. Yeah, yeah. that one's dead on eight. Eighty-six. I wonder if this one just got bent out. Like, measure on the bottom of it once. Yeah, so it's dead on. So it just got oh. tweaked out. Oh, sure. Maybe with all that pressure. Yeah, go right on, on the top one. Huh? Yeah, it's like ninety-seven and a quarter. Oh, they probably just got hit on. They the must. Yeah, they must point. push a little bit, huh? Yeah. All right. So how how high are we then? I don't know, like fourteen inches. 14. 14. So pretty much 14 all the way across there? Call it like 13 average. So if it was a foot, it'd be a quarter of a cord. So it was a little more than two and a quarter cords. So or, or one and a quarter. So it's cords. one and a quarter. It's yeah. one and a quarter face cord. Yeah, a little bit over one yeah. and a quarter face cords. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much exactly what he thought. Yeah. So by, by in that truck, though, by putting four in there, He's only putting two and a half face cord in there. Yeah. Two and a half face cord right in the money. Yeah, for four bins. For four bins. And you were yep. putting what in there? You could fit five. five, roughly? Yeah. So, yeah, whatever that would be. It's five-eighths of a face cord then in each, each bin. Yeah. A broom. Oh. And we got more than enough on that, too. That, that's over a face yeah, cord. Yeah, we got it up there a little bit, but still, yeah. average it out. It's still. It's, at, it's probably like 1.3 face cord. Yeah. Big piece. I wonder how consistent that is over a couple bins. You know, because it stacks different in each bin. Yeah. And that one bin that you brought in here, he had the front stacked a little bit. Yeah, because it was on top. So, like, they're heaped a little tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not that much debris. No. So when it comes off the conveyor, it goes into that into yeah, that tumbler. Uh, tumbler. Yeah. Yep. Into the tumbler. And it's supposed to clean it. But there's so much wood that comes out of the tumbler though. Yeah. It's crazy. So like that's not bad having that small amount in there. And I think a lot of the bark just came, it comes from this getting dumped into the baskets and dumped yep. back out on the floor and breaks off. But this is a good fire starter right here. Yeah. This is perfect. Yep. And going through that box wedge. Doesn't it go through a box wedge? Yep. So when it goes through that box it wedge, all the little it pieces, makes all them but chunks. But then it's supposed to catch it all in the, in the yep. tumbler. But this is all dry. You could burn this. Good kindling. Right now, yeah. It's good stuff. Yep. Now the greatest thing is the way he built these racks is you can just, well, obviously the way they came in here, just grab a hold of them with the forks. If this didn't have all the mud in there, you build a... So he built these originally. You built them to set them up on his, up on his deck, just right? Just on his deck, yeah. yeah. So you can just set these up on um, up on his deck and then take them in the house, not handle the firewood ten times. All right, we're gonna split one of these and see what the moisture is. These were last fall. Fall, yeah. So and it's March now. So how many months? Like it was probably five months. I don't know. Say? I don't know exactly when it was. Probably like in. September, October, or something like that. You think I'm going to hit this and actually split it? It should split hit really concrete. easily. Just tap it. Well, that's going to be dry. That's where you sp split it, right? That's where you test it right there. And 20% is good. So 19.9. You can burn 20% all day long. And it's ash. You can always burn ash. Oh. We should check the moisture out. What's oak? I wonder right now. Yeah, that's going to be dry. I bet an oak would be a lot wetter. Same thing. 19.9. Yep. I turn it off. Turn it back on. That's a fancy one. Mine's only got two prongs. That one's got four. Backwards, upside down. Same thing. 19.9. There you go. That's in f five months, six. Yeah, five months, six but, months. Yeah, being all winter time. I mean, if it's and being sat, all winter, if right. it sat in the summer, it would dry a, a lot more. But that's all ash. All right, guys. That concludes this one. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.